some sunshine there to finish off your day, there will be one or two showers. Same low pressure, not a million miles away. By this stage, it will have thrown that weather front up into the northeastern corner of Scotland, where the rain, I'm afraid, again will persist for a good part of Thursday. Further away towards western and southern areas, there will be a scattering of showers, which, in their own right, may well merge at times to give a longer spell of rain, particularly for Northern Ireland, maybe the far west of Scotland. And here on to Friday, oh dear, oh dear, same area of low pressure, keeping the shower supply going. Notice that front is still there, draped across that northeastern corner of Scotland. Scotland. So not great news for the Northern Isles, I'm afraid. Plenty of showers in the Western Isles and the north of the mainland. And elsewhere, a scattering of showers, but quite a bit of dry weather and the temperatures just beginning to recover too. Just in time for the weekend, we may well find a little finger of rain getting into Northern Ireland. Uh, and elsewhere, showers, they may well merge close by to the south coast again. But actually, not a bad weekend in store. More details as ever online. Tonight at 10, a royal wedding next year as Prince William announces his engagement to Kate Middleton. They'll be married in the spring or summer of 2011, ending years of speculation about their intentions. We're hugely excited and uh, it's, you know, we're looking forward to spending the rest of, the time, you know, rest of our lives together um, and uh, seeing what the future holds. No, I really didn't expect it at all. I thought he might have sort of maybe thought about it, but no. It was a total shock when it came and very excited. <laughs> the engagement ring is the one worn by William's late mother, Diana. William's father added his voice to those expressing delight at the day's news. Obviously a thrill, thank you very much. <laughs> I've been practicing for long enough. They met as students nine years ago, since when the Prince has got to know the Middleton family very well. They make a lovely couple. They're great fun to be with, and we've had a lot of laughs together. We wish them every happiness for the future. We'll be reporting from Buckingham Palace on the day's events. The other main stories tonight. In the Euro debt crisis, another denial from the Irish government that they're asking for a bailout. In Afghanistan, NATO commanders say they're forcing the insurgents out of the towns and into the desert. As British troops carry the fight to the Taliban, we have a special report on whether Afghan forces are anywhere near ready to take over the burden. And relics of war's past. Will today's coalition go the way of previous foreign interventions here? And coming up on the BBC News Channel at half past ten, more details about the royal engagement as we broadcast the Prince William and Kate Middleton interview in full. A very good evening from Buckingham Palace on the day Prince William announced that he is to marry his long-term girlfriend, Kate Middleton. The couple became engaged while on holiday in Kenya last month. The wedding will be in London sometime in the spring or the summer of next year. The Prince has given his fiancée the engagement ring, which was worn by his late mother, Diana. And today's announcement brings to an end the intense speculation about the couple's intentions. Now, just a warning at the start of the programme, there is a lot of flash photography from the start of this report on the day's events from James Robbins. 
first sight of Prince William and Kate Middleton as a couple engaged to be married. A blitz of flashlight for a man and woman who've known each other for nine years and have now decided to move on to marriage. So how does Kate feel about joining the royal family? Well, it's, it's quite a, a daunting prospect, but um, you know, hopefully I'll take it in my stride. You know, William's a great teacher, so hopefully he'll be able to, to help me along the way, and I really look, look, forward, to, look forward to spending my time with, with William. He's very good at flattery. <laughs> Prince William has given Kate Middleton his mother's engagement ring. The gesture is a poignant reminder both of Princess Diana's tragic death and of a marriage that failed. Well, as you may recognise now, it's, it's my mother's engagement ring. So, of course, it's very special to me. Um, as Kate's very special to me now as well, it was only right that the two were put together. But uh, it was my way of making sure that my mother didn't miss out on uh, today and the excitement and the, uh, the fact that we're going to spend the rest of our lives together. Later, in calmer surroundings, they talked about the moment William proposed. It was about uh, three weeks ago on a holiday in Kenya. Um, we had a little private time um, away together with some friends and I just decided that it was the right time, really. It's very romantic. There's a true romantic in that. There is. <laughs> and he produced a ring? Yeah. There and then? I did, yeah. I'd been carrying it around with me in my rucksack for about three weeks before that. And uh, I literally would not let it go. Everywhere I went, I was keeping hold of it because I knew this thing, if it disappeared, I'd be in a lot of trouble. No doubting the Prince of Wales' pleasure today, even if there was a hint that he'd been expecting his son's engagement long ago. So maybe we just ask your reaction to the wedding, please, sir. Yeah, obviously, obviously it's thrilled, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Practising for long enough. It's the most brilliant news. Um, I'm, I'm just so happy for both of them. They are so happy. I mean, it's wicked. Brilliant. Thank you very, very much. The Prime Minister came out of number 10 to give his reaction. I was given the news in a cabinet meeting. I was part